Thank you, Tim. The latest developments on a story that was breaking overnight. Six people, including two children, sent to the hospital to be treated for carbon monoxide poisoning. And now we're learning more about what may have caused the dangerous gas to leak into the Coventry home. I would assume reporter Steph Machado spoke to fire officials. She joins us now live from Coventry. Steph? And firefighters here in Coventry say the family is expected to be okay. The fire captain tells me this could have been much worse. It was in a deadly range. Western Coventry Fire District Captain Robert Mann says the home on Sisson Road had high levels of carbon monoxide when firefighters arrived overnight. If the residents of the home had just shrugged it off and gone to sleep, they wouldn't have woken up. Mann says six people, including two kids, were hospitalized for carbon monoxide poisoning, all expected to be okay. He says the cause was a water heater, the homeowner self-installed, that leaked CO into the house. He said it's a lesson for other homeowners. Call a licensed professional, uh, get the proper permits. These, these safeguards are in place for a reason, to make sure things are installed correctly, to make sure there's inspections, and they are safe. Man says the house also did not have carbon monoxide detectors. Fortunately, one of the family members was awake, felt sick, and woke up the rest of the household. They called 911 and got out. If this family had just shrugged it off and gone to bed, I guarantee there would have been six fatalities this morning. You, you would have been reporting on six fatalities instead of six people are still alive. And I spoke to the homeowner today. She didn't want to be interviewed, but she did want to thank the firefighters here in Western Coventry who helped her family. She said they are buying smoke uh, carbon monoxide detectors today. Live in Coventry, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. The West Bay Mobile Newsroom moving to Coventry now. We're told a water heater was to blame for a carbon monoxide leak at a home on Sisson Road overnight. A half dozen people ended up going to the hospital. Firefighters say this shows that carbon monoxide, often a hazard in the winter, can be dangerous any time of year. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from Coventry with the new details at 6. Steph? Mike, fortunately, everyone is expected to survive from this carbon monoxide incident overnight, but the fire captain says this was preventable and he has advice to keep your home safe. A frightening night for a Coventry family as six people, including kids and grandparents, were hospitalized for carbon monoxide poisoning after fire officials say a water heater was leaking CO into the house. It was in a deadly range. If the residents of the home had just shrugged it off and gone to sleep, they wouldn't have woken up. Western Coventry Fire District Captain Robert Mann says the house did not have CO detectors that alert you to the colorless, odorless, deadly gas. Fortunately, a family member felt sick and woke up the rest of the house. Mann says the water heater that caused the problem had been self-installed on Monday. It was accidental. Um, but it was human intervention. Man says the takeaway from this near tragedy is to always hire licensed professionals to install appliances and make sure you have working carbon monoxide detectors. You can call your local fire department if you need help installing or checking them. We'd rather come out in a non-emergency situation to answer questions. Yes, they work. No, they don't. You need to buy new ones and have something like this happen and have sick people end up in the hospital. And again, those six people are expected to be okay. I did talk to the homeowner today. She said she wanted to thank the firefighters for their help, and they are buying carbon monoxide detectors today. Live in Coventry, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.